or use that dukery the message. <laughs> yeah. Nice Spurgeon have to check that out too. Can we talk to Spurgeon? What? Can we talk to Charles Spurgeon? Why would you talk to him? Because he's been dead a long time. I promise you, my friend, we he's can, been dead we a can, long we, we time. Can, we can talk to him right no, now. No, no. We can talk to him. Look, he's right no. there. He's right there waiting for us. God in heaven. He's right there waiting for us. He's not. He is. Look, watch. Look, Look, he is not. It's like we start a conversation with him, right? It's five minutes. Good day. I'm the Baptist preacher. Mr. Charles Haddon Spurgeon, it is a pleasure to meet you. I trust that you have heard of the good news of Jesus Christ. Yeah, I see. The gospel of the Lord is indeed very good. I believe that the time has come for us to recognize and accept him as our Lord and Savior. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Praise be to the Father. I thank him for his blessings and his grace upon me. But more importantly, I'm here to share the good news of Jesus Christ with you. Uh, what? <laughs> the gospel is the good news that through faith in the death and resurrection of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, hey man, can be saved from sin and its consequences. What are you up to at this very this moment hope right and now? joy to all who accept it. At this very moment. I am sharing with you the good tidings of salvation that can be found by placing our trust in the sacrifice of our beloved Savior, Jesus. He has come to set us free from our... See? We can talk to him. Wow. Yeah, his voice does sound a bit robotic. Well, I mean, it's all getting started, right? It's not something that's, that's you know, whatever. Bro, what is this? Ha, 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 this is what I was talking to you about ha, earlier in your stream. This guy right here was built by our friend, the Missionary Gamer. Like, you can go to this website and build stuff for free, right? And you can build the parameters, and, and, and yeah, you can talk to him about anything. Like, what kind of question, right? What kind of question do you want me to ask Charles Spurgeon, right? I will do it. I will ask him right now. Ask him if he likes Pepsi or Coke. Do you like Pepsi or Coke? While I am not particularly partial to either, it is important to remember that our ultimate focus must be on Jesus and his word. We must strive to live lives that are pleasing to him and seek to share his gospel with others. How can you share spirit of the spirit out of spirit? Well, we can best do this by living out a life of obedience to God's commands and sharing what we know about him with those around us. We should also use every opportunity to proclaim and defend the gospel with boldness and conviction. See? You can, we can ask him whatever we want to. Hey, man, how often do you fart? <laughs> I do not believe this is an appropriate line of inquiry. <laughs> Is there a particular reason why you are asking? <laughs> it kind of smelly over here. Why is your beard yellow and your hair brown? My beard is naturally a lighter shade than my hair. However, I would appreciate if we could focus our conversation <laughs> on more relevant topics such as matters of faith so, and see, the gospel look. of our Lord. So his default is, so let me see, because we spoke to Batman, right? Were you here when we spoke to Batman? Because I created a character that was Batman, right? Yes, I was Captain, here for that mess, Captain too. America's back. He says no, so let's, let me find no, and he says no. That's no, a, no, so no. Like, this is something that, like, you can go in there and you can build this management trick to find, yeah, so, like, Anybody can can build characters, and he's built this one. He's built a few others. I built Batman, and yeah, you can just. Oh, uh, you want me to ask him if that uh, is what is the spirit? What is the spirit? The spirit is the Holy Spirit, who is the third person of the Trinity and is God Himself. He is a source of power and comfort to believers 
and works in us to bring about transformation in line with God's will. How can we be sure that we are living in accordance with his will? All right. What's that word right there? What word? That word. I just... What do you mean by that? Oh, crap. Or are you he, he asking to... how we can be sure that we are following to... the will of no! our Lord? Be quiet. All right, I muted him. Ask Spurgeon, how does the... That word right there. It looks like acetate. What is that word? I don't know. I don't know. Say it. Acetate. Acetate. All right. Acetate. How does the acetate of God balance with generation of Jesus in the womb of Mary? The virgin conception and birth of Jesus Christ is a central doctrine of Christianity, as taught in Scripture. The power of the Holy Spirit enabled Mary to conceive Jesus without a human father, thus fulfilling Old Testament prophecies about the coming Messiah. This miraculous conception attests to the deity of Jesus and validates his claim to Beth, son of God. Yeah. Uh, Fred, you're drinking and driving? Yeah. Let's see. Can you grow your spirit? I, I turn it off. Why did the chicken cross? Oh, it, it, we may have to refresh. This happened before. I broke it. <laughs> we broke him. Turn on this. Start conversation. Good day to you. Fire. I'm Charles Haddon Spurgeon, a preacher of the gospel. Why did it the chicken cross the road? It is my highest calling to strive for faithfulness to the Lord Jesus Christ above all other things. How may I be of service? Greetings, my friend. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am eager to learn more about what you said. Please, tell me more. I am afraid I am not familiar with such a metaphor. Could you please explain it to me in more detail? He needs it more detail. Uh, let's see. Uh, should I go build an AI of myself? You should. Aseity is a quality, a state of being self-derived or self-originated, specifically the absolute self-sufficiency, independence, and autonomy of God. Nice. Uh, Moonshine, hey, thanks for hanging out with us. I know this is kind of a weird way that yeah. we're, we're, <laughs> we're landing I this. Try, I said no. But, hey, I said no. Bunch of people asking and here questions. here we are. Bunch of people ask questions. You know what's funny, uh, Capable? I did ask that question of him at, at from my house, but let's, let's ask him again. But this time I'll actually uh, copy it and paste it in here instead of trying to say it because I'll screw it up. Yeah, another interesting analogy, though the literal answer to this question is impossible to answer due to the hypothetical nature of it. It can be interpreted to ask a much deeper question about one's ability and drive to achieve their goals. What is your interpretation of this phrase? Here is your question. Does evil to hope deserve VIP status? Right here. Here we go. It is not for me to judge who deserves VIP status. However... It is my belief that all people are deserving of respect and dignity, regardless of their circumstances. Yeah. I didn't realize it was midnight here. Ha, huh? I got to go. Good night, everyone, except that AI Spurgeon. That's creepy. Hey, you know, I didn't say that it was top tier people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's your fault. No, it's that not. We're here. It's your fault that he's here. It is not. It is Missionary Gamer's no, fault. No. Yes, Gamer had nothing to do with you <laughs> punching that button over there. Yeah, it did. No, he didn't. It's 11 o'clock, Fred. What do you got? Ew. I didn't mean to give us a perp. I'm like, what you got? Hey, Fred, what you got?